Hello there, St. John's friends. You might be asking yourself, why is the pastor holding up a photograph of dandelions? Well, here's why. I'm going to read A New Easter Blooms by Pastor Ted Schroeder. I think we need a new Easter flower. Don't get me wrong. In some ways, the Easter lily is the ideal Easter flower. It's certainly beautiful enough, like the Easter altar. It's white, and the lily's elegant trumpet shape recalls the glorious Easter anthems that we love. But let's be honest, it's also something of a fraud. The Easter lily is not really a spring flower. Florists have to fool the plant to make it bloom in April. And, unlike the everlasting power of the resurrection, the bloom itself is rather fragile. It doesn't last very long, and the petals fade quickly and then fall, leaving a dark, stark green stem. This past fall, a congregation got some funds together to expand its parking lot. The expansion was to cover a gravel area that had gotten rather weedy over the years. Once the lot was mapped out, the construction crew arrived and simply covered the weedy gravel with fresh blacktop. For a while, the new parking lot looked great. Most of the weeds were discouraged by the thick blacktop until the following spring. Sure enough, as they always do, the dandelions rose, growing through the blacktop as if it were rich soil. The dandelion, now there, is an Easter flower, almost indestructible. It rises every spring to cover the world with its yellow glow. You can freeze it, walk on it, chop it, cut it, cover it, and even poison it, but every spring it appears anew. If ever there was a resurrection flower, maybe this is it. It reminds us that Easter is more than a wonderful story to be retold once a year. The Easter promise is more than good news for some distant day beyond death. The Easter message proclaims that the risen Christ is not off in some spiritual space waiting for us to someday discover him. Jesus is risen, alive, and about in the world, living in the hearts of his people. Where two or three are gathered, he is there. Where people reach out to the least of these, he is there. Where the word is shared, where prayers are whispered, where hearts and ears are open, he is there flooding even the most shattered lives with light and life and hope. As surely as the spring dandelion pushes its way through the blacktop and shows its bright face to the world, so too does the risen Christ live within you and me. The angel at the tomb had a message. You are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell. Do you seek Jesus, who was crucified? He is not here in the bunnies, lilies, and new hats of our Easter celebration. He is risen. He is alive and active in this world. Easter keeps on happening through us, God's Easter people. Let's go tell someone. I want to thank you for joining me today, for thinking through what it means that Jesus Christ is risen, and he lives in you, and he lives in me. Praise God for that. Thank you for joining me today.